Hello again, YouTube. Um, the gray apple experiment has come to an end, or at least this first phase of it has. Um, a few days ago, I asked you to go to skeptic.org and vote for which apple slice you thought looked the best and which one looked the worst. And uh, the results are in. Um, just to give you a quick rundown, um, basically each apple slice has a one in three chance um, of, of looking the way that we want it to look. Um, so, for instance, if, if speaking to an apple doesn't actually change the way it looks, then we can expect the love apple to have a one in three chance of looking better than all the other apples. Uh, same for the hate apple, um, one in three chance of looking worse than the others. Um, but, uh, so, so with this experiment, it, just by chance, you could say that it's likely that one in three apples will correspond to the emotions that were projected its way. However, if Nikki Owens is correct and being mean to an apple makes it uglier and being nice to an apple makes it prettier, then you could say that three out of three of the apple slices should correspond to their labels. Um, so the results are in and good news, they're pretty conclusive. And if you go to skeptic.org, um, I'll include the link in the, the sidebar. Um, maybe it's over there. I'm not sure YouTube just changed everything. But um, if you go to skeptic.org, you can read all about it. Um, you can see what you guys voted for, and also you can see the statistics behind it. Not from me, because I'm not a mathematician, but from a mathematician I know, an awesome guy named Matt Parker. So he's helped me out crunching the numbers and... Uh, yeah, so go go learn a little something about math and science. I know I did. And um, thanks so much for participating or just watching. If you did do an experiment of, your, experiment of your own, let me know either in the comments here on YouTube. I do read them all. Or uh, make your videos responses to mine. Um, that would be helpful. And I'll post a follow-up on Skeptic uh, highlighting all of the other experiments. So thanks so much, everybody. See you later. Damn it, do you know I recorded that whole thing before I remembered I still had a mustache left I wanted to use? I'll use this time to mention that some of you might have noticed a video appear on my feed and then disappear. Much much like my mustache. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That video is an interview I did with Cory Doctorow. That was a lot of fun. I think you're going to love it, but it's not going to go up probably until Monday or so because it's going to be on the Little Adams radio show, which you should totally uh, listen to, um, littleadams.com. But if you prefer visual entertainment, then stay tuned, and the, those videos will be appearing soon on my channel.